This is Devery from DC Aquatics. Welcome to my fish room. So I took a drive to visit Dylan from Veteran Aquatics. Took a couple fish down for him and picked up some uh, fish that he had. These are the Pelvica Chromis Pulcher, also known as the Caribensis. I put the caves and the decorations in there the first night. I didn't see them for days afterwards because it was last Friday when I went down. So I took a couple guppy fry and two platy juveniles and put in there and did that last night and today they're out and about having a good old time chasing each other around I love their little faces. They get in the cave and then peek their face out. There's one of the platies. Blue Dream Neo Caradina Shrimp. There's about a dozen in there. Real brilliant blue color. If any of these interest you, feel free to get a hold of Dylan. He's on uh, Facebook. Watch his videos. Subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel, Veteran Aquatics, on YouTube. He has a lot more fish than these guys. He has bigger cichlids. I don't know if he ships in the winter months. I I personally don't. I don't want to mess around with the heat packs and get stuck in the mail halfway and lose fish. That little shrimp right there has like black on the end of the tail. Looks like a male. Usually the females are the ones with more color on them as far as I can tell. The males are more pale colored. With the shrimp that I'm keeping anyways. But we'll let these guys go and see if they start producing. Or if you can't make the drive, he's down near Harrisburg. If you can't make the drive and uh, you're up this way, I can always pick something up for you while I'm down there. If you watch his channel and see something that you like, just let me know.
Here's some guppies that I got from him. It looks more of a bluish tail on this uh, with my lighting because I have the blue and the red LED lights. But under regular light, they're more of a white tail on them. And they have a little bit of a yellow in the body. That's the only problem with my lighting. You don't get the true color of the fish. Yeah, this tank, I have to clean the inside of the glass on the front here. He's displaying for the female. These are half black and the black when you shine light on it is like a bluish color. Half black koi guppy. So the nose is the reddish color and you got that white and then you got the blue afterwards so this is a patriotic fish here your red white and blue and the video just doesn't give them justice the colors just pop on them in person. And I have them in with my super reds. And since I put them in, male super reds are taking up caves. These are a couple of them that I got I called out of the group of half blacks and these ones don't have the blue on them so if you're looking for just a regular koi with the, uh, the nose and the tail then these ones will be a good decoration piece right there is the male he's been in that cave cleaning it out all day today he's out here taking a break now come on ladies step right up I think the females are a little too young yet. They're getting there though, slowly. I grew these guys up from about inch and three quarters, two inches long. There's a sun kiss shrimp that I have. Orange. And I seen this zebra pleco hanging in his fish room. I was like, oh my goodness, that's my favorite fish. Probably the cheapest zebra pleco I'll ever get. It doesn't eat anything. 
You don't have to clean up after it. I think this is my favorite fish in the whole fish room. One day, I'll get zebra plecos. That's my dream fish. So this is keeping my dream alive. 